Good news, this week, the bar tab, it's on me. I mean, not me personally, but I mean, what do you care? You're not gonna pay for it. The point is, it's free. This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy and Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash scam school for your free trial membership. Welcome to the only show that can beat you in a three-legged race with the baseball bat. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have an anytime, anywhere extravaganza. As long as there are packets of sugar, you need never pay for your bar tab again because we are going to discover the sweet spot. Oh my God, what is going on? I'm Brian. Sarah. Sarah and? Ryan. Ryan, awesome, okay. So imagine you're out with a couple of buddies. Now normally I do not condone figuring out ways to stick ladies with the bill, but let's okay. say there was a way that you could do a totally fair game in order to decide who should get off scot-free on the meal. Have the other guys pick it up and make somebody's day, right? If there was a way to hypothetically cheat at that, and make sure you never had to pay for a meal again, would you be so inclined as to learn how this was done? I would. Okay, well good. Well then that's exactly what we're gonna do. So imagine we just finished, let's say we've been drinking all night, and say, hey, I'm not saying that, you know, one person should pay for all of us, but I say that one person should get off scot-free, right? So okay. it, let's do it, we'll, we'll do a gambling game. That's a fair way, right? Everybody loves gambling. All right. we're, gonna, we're gonna do a gambling game to decide who gets off scot-free. And for this, we're gonna pick, uh, I guess we'll do nine of these sugar packets right here. They're sweet and lows. I like the sweet and lows because they're they're more evenly thin here. I'm gonna write a bunch of numbers on here. We got one, there we go. We'll do two, three, and I want you to decide what number, one through nine, you're going to pick as your horse in this race, all right? Are we both picking horses? Yeah, well, all three of us are picking horses. And all in right. fact, whichever one of us is the one who wins, who picks the right horse, that person, I think, the other two, should pick up the slacker. Does that sound fair? All right. Yeah, I think so. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll just have nine horses. That's fair enough. We'll get rid of, get rid of all these posers. All right, I'm gonna uh, I tell you, you guys, you write down your prediction. Whichever one you think first? is gonna be the winner. Yeah. All right. All right, awesome. See, this is more interesting because now we've all picked a horse and nobody knows who we're rooting for. So here's what I want to do. We're gonna, we're gonna shuffle up all nine of the sugar packets, right? Okay. And we're gonna flip them and with as many flips as we can in the air so we end up with as random an assortment of up and down and all around as possible. And because somebody, the problem is, is when you're the scam master, everybody is suspicious of you, right? So here's what I want you to do. Yeah, of course. You go ahead and scoop them all up, Ryan. So you're gonna do the first round. Okay. All right, we'll just throw them up right here. All right, oh, and I, I probably should have mentioned in advance, any of them that land face up are still in the race. Any of them face down get eliminated. Okay. All right, so in this case, we'll pull out, pull out these guys, these guys, these guys. All right, and scoop them all up. I'm still doing this? Yeah, sure. I mean, unless you don't trust yourself, and you can have Sarah do it. I don't <laughs> trust her. I love his reaction. He'd be like, are you kidding? She's got red hair. That doesn't seem right. All right, now we're That's down. Like down. Now we're down to two. power that I'm worried about. All right, here we go. Shake him, shake him up, shake him up, shake him up. Oh, six and five. I don't want to touch him. You're gonna think I'm cheating. Can I do it again? Yeah, go for it again. Okay. Go for it again. I'm sorry, I can't. Succeed. I'm tempted to call shenanigans already. All right, who should do it next? Oh, so we ended up with the last one. Who picked four? What did you pick? I picked four. No, you didn't. <laughs> for a second, I was like, oh. <laughs> what did you pick? You picked three, and I am the one who gets off scot-free in this arrangement. You guys look vaguely unsurprised for some, for some reason. Not at all, not at but all. But here's the important thing. You know, we share the love here at Scam School, so the question is, do you want to know how you can be the one who wins at this? Absolutely, Well, yes. we are going to find out after we thank our sponsors. 
Alright, by now you know the game we're playing with our Domain Smack contest. We're looking for the most absurd, the most outrageous domains that are being used to insult your friends. Because they're so easy and so cheap through our sponsor at GoDaddy.com to purchase, you can do it just to spite your friends. You can mock anything from big business to celebrities to the secret loves and desires of your friends. I want to see you guys get creative. Send them to me at Brian at Revision3.com and we'll feature them right here on the show. But the important thing is when you register your domain, make sure to go to GoDaddy.com and use the promo code SCAM10 at checkout. That'll get your domain for $7.99 each and they'll forward it anywhere you want absolutely free. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. All right, so here's some of the things I love about this setup. You can do this setup right in front of them, and it's totally fair. You can use objects that are already sitting around at the dinner table, so there's nothing suspicious about it, and you can absolutely guarantee that you always win. First of all, any theories on what on what happened? So how did I cheat? Do you have any theories? I was thinking there was a folded sugar packet or like a weighted. Like maybe I maybe I engineered it away so it was more likely to come I was up thinking face up. Maybe it, maybe it got wet. Maybe like it got wet. Maybe so there one was some side was, was or done. Something. No, that's good. Did Did you have any thoughts? None whatsoever. You're like, all I know, sir, is that you are a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and if you yes. won, this game is rigged. <laughs> True story. So what, again, what's great about this is you use everyday objects. Now you can use uh, any of the regular sugar packets. Actual sugar packets tend to be a little bit bulged on both sides, so they're a little bit funny to handle. Uh, what I like about the Sweet and Low is that they tend to flutter down, so you get you get you, you don't tend to get all of them jumping over as a group over and over okay. and over again, right? In this case. And you're gonna hate me because you watched me as I wrote the numbers on each of the sugar packets. The only thing you didn't see is that before I even started, I made sure that the fourth packet down already had a number on it. So no matter how many times it was thrown, number four always showed up face up. Now gamblers used to do this. Gamblers used to do this. They would they would have everybody yeah. put a quarter into a hat, and they would have them put their initials on top. And uh, it, the the cheater would make sure his his initials were on both sides. So every time they would flip it, they would eliminate all the ones that were face down, and only the ones with the initials on top would win. So this is a way to use that same premise, but in a more I don't know less less cheesy, less sneaky looking environment. Make sense? Nice. All right, so here's the important question. Who here is ready to be the ringleader and actually try to pull this scam off in front of me? Oh, look at that, she got called out. Didn't even flinch. All right, we're you gonna You wanna do it or you want me to do it? We're gonna see if Sarah's got the goods, but first, All we right. gotta thank our sponsors. Guys, seriously, how great is Netflix? They're up to 12 million members now, and the service just keeps getting better. Not only do you have DVDs and Blu-rays sent to you by mail, not only do you download stuff over the internet to your computer, but you can download and watch movies on your Xbox, on your Nintendo Wii, on your PS3, and the list keeps growing. When they're sent over the mail, movies arrive in one business day, and there's no due dates or late fees. Take as much time as you want. When you watch it instant streaming, you get instant gratification, and the number of titles just keeps going up. Up. Now most of you know Netflix has been sponsoring us for like 18 million years, but there's only one way that they can know for sure that the sponsorship is working. When you sign up for your free no risk trial, you gotta go to netflix.com slash scam school. This is the website that tells them that it's my free beers given tutorials that's making them the money and it's what keeps us in business. Head on over to netflix.com slash scam school so we get credit for your sign up. All right, so what's the proposition here? Well, gentlemen, I just don't think a lady should pay for dinner. You don't think a lady should pay for I dinner? I do not. Uh -huh. well, you think that she should? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're equal rights kind of guys. Oh, really? All right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm a feminist. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. And because we're feminists, you need to buy both of us a dinner. That's really? what we yeah. say, yeah. Okay, well, I say we, we should do a little game and see who has to pay. Oh, I see. This is that we're going to settle in old school. Okay. All right. So I'm going to write some numbers on the, the packs of sugar. Sure. So, or That's actually artificial sack. sugar. Artificial. Yeah. Um, Just make sure they're artificial numbers to go on we'll, the artificial we'll sugar. We'll all shuffle them and select, so it'll be totally fair. Okay. That sounds that's, good yeah, to you guys. no, that's okay. great. So what I'm yeah. gonna do is so, really anyway, so let's talk about sports and manly things. I'm gonna write the numbers on the cards. Yeah, sure. No, you write those down. We're too busy talking about other stuff. Well, it's women's work. Yeah, yeah you do your women's work. 
<laughs> of writing down the numbers. Yeah. I don't know how they work. I don't know how they add up, but. <laughs> You're like, I don't understand but numbers, I but I know how to draw order. them. OK, good. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, ladies, it's all of a sudden become an episode of, of Mad Men <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is shuffle them. Yeah. I'm going to toss them, pick a number. Okay, I'm picking, uh, like, like picking number between one and nine. Yeah, but don't, all right. don't tell anyone. Write it on your napkin. So this is this is going to be like my, my special private number. Yes. Okay, all right, I got my number. My number's written. It limits nine, which is a little this is like This is like my vote. It's a secret ballot, is what you're saying. All right. Did you choose one already? Oh, she's choosing two. All right. So okay. the game is, how does this game play? Now, that's another thing. It's important that you lay out the rules of the game before you start tossing them okay. out there. So the rules are every pack of aspartame, a.k.a. Sweet <laughs> Sac which we love, as a point of has, yeah. has a number on it. And each one of us will shuffle. And as you go through and shuffle the packs that come up without a number, you eliminate. And then the last one that has a number, that's the person if it's associated with their number, they have to pay for dinner. That sounds fair to me. Who starts? Ryan, why don't you start? All right, so I'm shuffling? Yeah. Shuffle the packs or the I sacks. Shuffle. Shuffle your the sacks. Shuffle the sacks. Put your hands around those sacks and you just go to just town. Just get some good coverage. Just, da -da 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 -da. There you go. So what, these guys are in, wait, this looks like two sevens. What is this? No, is that's a nine. Seven? Which one? I'm left-handed. Th which, which one? This one's a nine? a nine? That's a nine and that's a seven. Yeah. Okay, all right. Wow, that's a lot eliminated right off the bat. Okay. Right. Whose turn is it now? Well, do you want to shuffle again? I'll do, I'll do it. Seven, seven and, a and a nine. And this one? All right, all right. so it's down to seven and nine. Shuffle? All right, I'll shuffle. Yeah. There's a seven and a nine. And strangely, the nine looks, <laughs> the nine looks a little bit a little bit transformed. I'm not sure why that or you how that a, happened. You've got a few beers. Uh, you know, what maybe say. that's what it is. It's a little it's, bit blurry. Uh, you know, that's a good point. All right, well, here, let me just uh, <laughs> shuffle do it again. Here. I'm sure it was. Uh, well, right. Now it looks like two sevens again. I don't understand it's why. It's nine. I'm, oh, this is the nine. Yes. Okay, all right, let me try it again. I'll do, I'll do it one more time. <laughs> they're both, that's very weird how they're both sevens. Hey. Well, there's nothing and, and a clearly written nine. Uh, <laughs> Well, I guess nine certainly did win that race. <laughs> I, had, I, I guess had so. Well, and I had three, but you so. had you, you had nine. <laughs> Dude, uh, all right, uh, a couple of things to point out. <laughs> I think we learned a lesson that it's important <laughs> that that your your number look the same <laughs> on both sides in order to. Uh, I was going a little fast. <laughs> you were going, yeah. and I tell you, it was your first go at it. It's, it's tough to be consistent. Yeah. So what's important is that practice is the key, but I say you certainly deserve a round three on us. Congratulations, Sarah. Very well done. Now, while the concept behind this game is super old, the guy who showed it to me was Mr. Johnny Zavant. Make sure to check out his website at johnnyzavant.com. Second of all, there's so many different ways for you to take this. You can use it to pick a winner, to pick a loser, to get out of bar tabs, whatever it is. I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scamschool, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to hit me up with your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I am in your hometown doing spontaneous scam school meetups by following me personally at twitter.com slash wood. Next week, you better tune in because I am going to give you rabies and no gift receipt. Hey guys, how would you like it for me to come in person and perform for you live in your hometown? Believe it or not, it's easier than you think. Here's all you have to do. If you go to college, find out who's in charge of student activities on your campus and point them to my website at schwood.com where they can check out the five minute demo reel and get an idea of what's in the show. These are the people whose job it is to bring events just like me to campus all year round. If you're in high school, find out who's in charge of proms or graduation night parties. I work a lot of those and I'd love to work yours. 
If you work in a corporation, find out who's in charge of holiday planning parties and point them to the website. Then have them contact me to book a date. And finally, if you're some crazy millionaire, just call me directly. I'm on my way. And of course, you may just get lucky. I may already be headed to your town. In which case, sign up for email updates at schwood.com and follow my Twitter feed where I post my schedule regularly. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you in person real soon.